So this is a short video on the mechanical forms project and it's using an Anna Held Audet engine study that we're going to trace and then use oil pastel to add colour to. So the first thing is with the laminate uh, using tracing paper and laying the tracing paper on top and then with a 2B pencil fill in and copy the outlines of the main shapes. It is of course uh, possible that you might want to hold the tracing paper in place using some masking tape. I haven't done that on this, but it's a good idea nonetheless. Tracing shouldn't be rushed. I've sped up the process just so that we're not watching the full extent of it, but it took about 20 minutes. Once the tracing is done, you flip it over onto the reverse and then using the flat of the pencil, shade over the back of all the lines, making sure you get a good coating of graphite. And then turn it back onto the original side, lay it onto a piece of A4 paper and with a sharp pencil and a good deal of pressure, you need to redraw all those lines. And that process again shouldn't be rushed and once you've redrawn all those lines if you take away the tracing paper you'll see an imprint that you then can go over to make the line more clearly visible and once you've gone over all those lines you should see the basis of your drawing I've brought it back into the frame and I'm going to now introduce oil pastel. Now I'm going to start off with the lighter colours, the sort of yellows, caramels, pale blues and so forth. Um, and then bring in the darker colours to show a contrast between light and dark. I tend to try and avoid using the darkest colours, the blacks, the dark browns, dark blues and so forth, until... A little later on but you'll see shortly in this that I do use the black quite early to help define some of the areas. All pastels are fantastic media to blend with and you'll find that it's one that the, uh, the pigment and the colour will work on top of each other really nicely. So the addition of the black really helps to extend the tonal contrast. And as I say, I've sped this video up because the start to finish for this project was about an hour and 15 minutes. So it wasn't something that was a quick or a particularly quick exercise um, but rather than watch the whole the whole time needed I've sped it up so that it works out being about six and a half minutes but you can see that I'm working oil pastel over the top of each other making the areas really rich in colour One of the things that you need to be aware of using the black, I think particularly with oil pastel, is that it has a tendency to sort of contaminate the other lighter colours. So although I do use it, and I do like using it, I am always quite cautious that I use it sort of to outline or to um, really sort of define some of the other areas. You can see now using the black to sort of redraw some of those shapes as well. 
and the strong contrast that you see in Anna Held Audet's work is what really I'm trying to replicate here. Coming through to some of the final stages. One of the things that I found when I did the initial tracing was that not all the main shapes actually had come through as clearly as I might have liked. But I think oil pastel allows you to redraw. And so as I've progressed through this study, I've built in some of the shapes that weren't initially visible on the tracing. And so the end result, I think, is a fairly good representation of the piece I was working from. Oil pastel doesn't need fixing like chalk pastel or charcoal, um, but it does transfer because of its oily base. So if I was storing this in a sketchbook or on a worksheet, I might put a piece of tracing paper over the top and just attach it with a bit of masking tape. So there we are, just the final stage is going in. There's some white marks as well to put in highlights, but we are pretty much there or thereabouts. Thanks for watching.